last time on Dexter Who PhD. What's the matter, babe? You look like you've seen a ghost. This is totally freaky. I don't remember that huge column being there. Isn't that from the other side of the park? Sheesh. Oh my gosh. You're right. Look, it's moving closer to us. I know. I'm freaking out. Ah, uh, it's right here now. What do we do? Go away. Go away. No. Hi, I'm Lucy. You are not from around here, are you? Right you are. I'm an alien. Salutations, Earthling. Why? Yes. Between finishing school and starting a new job, I think I'm in a good place right now to take on the additional challenge of traveling with a strange, um, a stranger, person, for two, or three seasons. Jolly good. Let me show you my impressive time and space travel contraption. Here we are. My goodness, that's not at all what I was expecting. I know, right? Wow, it's a lot more fragrant on the inside than it is on the outside. Indeed. Apparently I forgot to lock the door when I left it here last night. I better clean this up. Eek, there's an amputee sheep in here. Don't panic. That's just you. Good gracious. Are you saying that this is me from the future? Don't be silly. This is you, my robotic sidekick. Oh, I see. You made a robot sheep. Infraction. 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 Please avoid any references to you's appearance. You is very sensitive about it. Then perhaps a different name would have been more appropriate. I can't imagine what you mean. The nameplate on it says, U9. You don't pronounce the night. The nine is a silent number. I don't know why nobody understands that. Dexter, so what do we do now? Well, I was feeling a bit peckish myself. Fancy some chips. I know a good place in London. I mean, what do we do about the aliens? Yes, of course. We'll need to pay a visit to our friends at SNED, the secret intelligence team. Oh, covert operations. I like it. Very cool. But SNED, shouldn't it be called SID? I mean, what does the N stand for? The N stands for nothing. The secret nothing intelligence team. No, no. It just stands for nothing. As in, pretend it's not there. Oh, that is definitely covert. Watch out there. Playing through. Wait here a minute while I park the car in the visitor lot. Seriously? What a silly place to park a bicycle. Goodness, you're a positively wretched driver. Uh huh. Well, you could cut me a little slack. I'm not used to piloting such a primitive vessel. Ah, hello there, Dexter. You have a new traveling companion, I see. That's right. This is Lynn. Um, it's Lucy, actually. Pleasure to meet you, Lucy, actually. I'm Inspector Montague Augusta Felden Faraway Johnson. But you can just call me Pookie. Hello, Pookie. Cheers. Come along, Dexter. The Chief has some intel on this new alien threat. Say, what happened to your previous companion? You mean Petunia? Yes. Bit of an incident on Mackerel 5 with a positively enraged male galoof, I'm afraid. Quite tragic, really. Wait, what? Lucy, this way, please. We need to get you a visitor's badge. This is a secret base, you know. Oh, yes. I noticed that on the way in. What is a galoofer? Dexter, 
Come in. Come in. We used your clever formula to intercept the creature's high-frequency communication signals. You were right. There is a sort of hub here on Earth. The signals appear to be emanating from a cemetery right here in London. Spot on. Let's get going. Hooky, shall we meet your team there? Absolutely. Just give us a few minutes. Traveling by bicycle these days. Oh? Bicycle you say? That's right. Snit is doing our part to save the planet. You with the aliens and such. And my team being environmentally conscious about carbon reduction. Yes. Quite admirable. But what do you say about some good old-fashioned carpooling this time around? In fact, I'll bring the car around. Oh. Well, I... Come on now. You can brief Linda on the way. Who is Linda? I think that's supposed to be me. Oh, very well. I'll dispatch a unit to meet us there, and I better bring my helmet. Here we are everyone. This appears to be the place. If this is the hub, then where are all the alien pillar thingies? Only one way to find out. Come this way. This looks a little suspicious, Dexter. I see private red shirts bicycle parked here by the entrance, but there's no sign of him. Yes, could be dangerous. Good point, Lulu. We better send you in first to check it out. What? Why me? No, of course not. I was referring to you, the robotic member of our team. Oh, you. You really should change its name. All right, you. Have a look around for us, will you? Scanline. 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 No life forms detected. Looks all clear. Um, Dexter, when you did its scan, it didn't turn all the way around. Oh dear. It would appear that we've found the aliens. Or perhaps they found us. And they're blocking the way out. It's a trap. All right. Listen up, everyone. I probably should have explained this before, but it is absolutely imperative that we're all completely silent now that we've entered this compound. These ancient creatures find the sound of the spoken voice exceptionally irritating. They will continue to advance on us and eventually attack unless we all stop speaking immediately. And coming in physical contact with one of these alien pillars will send you back in time. So not a peep out of anyone. Got it? Check. For heaven's sake, Pookie. What did I just tell you about talking? Don't you realize the grave danger you put us in every time you open your mouth to speak? What more can I say to get you to stop talking? The Dexter. Oh, for crying out loud. Not you too. Gracious. What does it take to get it through your primitive human brains about this? Should I provide you with an example? Oh, let's see. Say that there was a flock of defenseless little lambs. Infraction. Infraction. Oh, drat. Infraction. 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 Here we are everyone. This appears to be the place. Well hello there. We weren't expecting to meet you here. Huh? What do you know? That was unexpected. Hello hello. Hello hello. Good heavens. What's happened? Did we get cloned? Not exactly. We've traveled back in time. But this is where we were only about 5 minutes ago. Exactly 4 minutes and 23 seconds by our watches. Precisely. Say. Doesn't this introduce some sort of time paradox? Possibly. But given that we haven't shredded the fabric of all space and time already, I say we run with it. What do you say we all try it together this time? Splendid idea. Let's go. Infraction. Oh, drat. Infraction. 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 Fraction, 
Here we are everyone. Based on this crowd, this appears to be the place. Terrible luck, I say. But I think the odds are finally in our favor this time. Ready for another go.